Okay, for this one, we have secant theta over cosine theta, and then minus 1 is equal to what, right? Well, we have secant theta, so let's write the secant theta in terms of sine or cosine. This is the same as 1 over cosine theta. That's all, right? For secant theta. And then we still have this over this cosine theta, and then we still have the minus 1 after this, right? And now, this is a complex fraction, so let's go ahead and fix that. So to do so, I'm going to just multiply the top and bottom by this cosine theta, so that this and that will cancel, and that's very nice. And then we will have just a 1 on the top right here, right? So we have 1 over, and this is cosine theta times cosine theta, namely cosine squared theta. And then we still have the minus 1 right here. And now we have to subtract fraction in this, right? So let's put on the 1 as 1 over 1. And let's multiply this by cosine squared theta on the bottom here and do the same on the top. And when we do that, this and that are the same. So we can just say this is going to be all over cosine squared theta. And on the top, we just have this 1 and then minus 1 times cosine theta cosine squared theta, this is just that, right? And can we do anything else? Well, notice 1 minus cosine squared theta, it has an identity for that. This is equal to sine squared theta and then over cosine squared theta. At the end, what's this? Well, we know sine over cosine is tangent, but this is sine squared over cosine squared, namely we will have tangent squared, and input is theta. So this is what we have, and that's answer choice C right here. That's it.